There once was a time when some bigwigs had an idea to make a film about an animated lion and his three friends. Escape a zoo in New York to go find their homeland in the wild and truly live like animals. The film was called uh, Toy Story. Uh, no, wait, Owl's Moving Castle. Hmm. Shrek? Jokes aside, the film Madagascar. Uh, am, I, am I saying that right? I don't want to say it in the most British way possible, though. Madagascar. Madagascar. Ma Madagascar. Oh. Madagascar. Madagascar was a film that came out in 2005, and it was an okay film, but it also had that one really annoying song in it that became the practical tagline for this film. Y y you know the one I'm talking about. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. It also had two sequels following it, and they were not very well received. Either way, this film lines up for everything that children would want to see. An animated film about anthropomorphic animals with the wacky personalities, going on their outlandish adventures in a world unbeknownst to them. It's the perfect formula, and of course, that meant that I I also wanted to see it when I was a dumb kid. I was still in primary school at the time, and so my mind was still filled with wondrous whimsical splendor. Before high school came along and snapped me like a twig for still being into Pokemon and Spongebob. Being from a not-so-well-off family that couldn't always afford to go to the cinema all the time meant that we were without access to such wonderful cinematic experiences, and so we had to acquire the film through other means. <laughs> <laughs> Car boot sales. L literally, just some shady middle-aged nobody standing out in the middle of a rented-out farmer's land selling dusty old junk from their houses that they just wanted to be rid of whilst making a quick buck on the side. Nowadays, it's better known as eBay. <laughs> At these events, you find a lot of people who would have their hands on the latest blockbuster films at relatively low costs, including films that have yet to make their way to DVD. And these could range in quality from actually okay, to the camera being positioned so poorly on the armrest of the cinema seat, and with people walking in front of the camera every couple of seconds to go to the bathroom. So all you could see at the most intense parts of the films was some fat bowling ball of a man and his grotesque silhouette. If you couldn't tell, I acquired this masterfully put together and totally not upside down copy of Madagascar, and my young mind was shaking with anticipation to get back to the rented caravan we were staying in just to watch it in all of its mediocrity. Little did my young self know what awaited me when I loaded that bootleg DVD for the first time. The scene legitimately terrified me when I was younger, as I thought I'd opened some Pandora's box BS, and the police were on their way to throw my ass in the gulag or whatever. I remember this DVD existed again the other day, and I decided to do some research into what this scene actually meant. And to my surprise, it led me to this entire underground anti-anti-piracy circle, known as an organization that goes by the name of Centropy. Try as I might, I can't find too much information on the actual people themselves, as they dedicate their lives to keeping this seemingly zero-profit business covertly under wraps, meaning that not too much information about them has surfaced. Apart from the films that they distribute, making them somewhat of a myth. Oh. Oh, lovely, thank you. That, that's precisely what I wanted.
Also, this isn't to be confused with the clothing brand of the same name. I hold no responsibility there, but p please not flame Marina. Looking further into things, I went ahead to see what the acronyms were in this apparently edgy sequence. Essentially, they're all just simple acronyms for large corporations behind motion pictures and anti-piracy. You've got the BSA, which is simply just a software alliance against the pirating of software. MPAA, which is the Motion Picture Association of America, and you've got FEST, not the Sonic kind, the Federation Against Software Threat, the RIAA, which is the Recording Industry Association of America. But the most interesting one of all was the M dollar sign, which brought me all the way to a web chat from 2001, but it's nothing too outlandish, as it's only an abbreviation for Microsoft. As to why I choose, it beats the heck out of me, so feel free to fill in the blanks on your own. So. Yeah, somewhat cultist propaganda in a kid's film. I guess it's my fault for owning a bootleg copy of Madagascar, but you know what they say? You wouldn't download a car. You sure as heck would if you could, you know. Who wouldn't? I can think of worse things you've used to dissuade people from wanting to pirate and illegally download and torrent films. F for example, you wouldn't download a rampant serial killer. You wouldn't download The Sun. You wouldn't download a Master Yi one trick who actively throws his silver promos and makes Hispanic streamers want to throw their monitors out of the window in literal hey, disgust box. and rage. <sighs> you wouldn't download Logan Paul's hairline. Yes, I got to mention Logan Paul in a video. Now I can put him in the tags and get that sweet YouTube money. Wait, I'm still not at a thousand subscribers. Damn it!